Doing nothing is not an option. Uh, at our current burn rate within the Department of Homeland Security, uh, ICE will run out of money in mid-August. Given the added transportation cost, given the added enforcement cost, Customs and Border Patrol will run out of money by mid-September. All matters related to this crisis at our borders. If we don't pass this bill before this August recess, what happens? There are three variables. Number of kids, number of beds, speed with which HHS can move the children. We're working on that speed as much as we can, but we need to do this in a safe and secure way. And what it is about is in August, if we continue on the May-June trajectory, the ability for HHS to bring on beds so that we no longer have more coming in than I can process at HHS and our teams can on a daily basis, they will be backed up uh, at the borders. The fact is that the failure to act does not save money for the taxpayer. What it essentially does is back up the, the ability of these children to be in a safe and secure surrounding. They will be in primarily at the border. We need to make it as clear as we can, as rapidly as we can, that what, what will happen to these children if they come to our country is they'll be treated with respect and humanely and sent home, taken home, as soon as we responsibly and safely can do it. This is a refugee crisis that we are seeing along our southern border. And as Americans, we kind of all think of refugee crises as situations that happen far away to somebody else. Uh, but I think we need to open our eyes that this is something that is happening in our country and it's happening right now. Uh, that are participating. Uh, it will be led off by myself and Senator Sh